Hey guys, today I'm going to be reviewing Alice by Christina Henry. Welcome back to that cozy book nook everyone. Hi if you're new, my name is Tori and I received Alice for Christmas and I actually got to this pretty quickly like a few days after Christmas and so uh, this was one of the books that I finished off 2016 with and guys I really really enjoyed this book except for the last 15 pages. That is what honestly the last 15 pages is what took this book from a five stars for me to a three stars, but we'll talk about it. Actually more like three and a half stars. So Alice is a dark fantasy novel. It's the first in a duology or I believe what could become a trilogy or even a series. And this book was inspired by Alice in Wonderland and The Adventures Through the Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll. It's so dark and it's so grim. There are major trigger warnings all in here for assault and abuse. So definitely be aware of that. Um, this is not the happy happy whimsical tale of you know the the Disney film that probably so many of us are familiar with it's nothing like that at all and this follows a woman she's in her 20s a woman named Alice and she has been in the hospital what I believe is a mental institution so she's been in the hospital for about 10 years and she doesn't really remember how she got there the only thing Alice remembers is that there was a tea party that she went to 10 years ago with her best friend and the tea party was hosted by a white rabbit after that she just completely draws a blank and, and winds up in the hospital and so conveniently for Alice the hospital catches fire and she escapes but on the downside something escapes the hospital with her and is now after her and so this whole book is her her journey basically to put together the pieces of her past that happened so long ago as well as figure out what is after her and how to destroy that. This was a wild ride honestly from beginning to end. This book is not long at all. I think it's about 289 pages and I'm telling you guys around page 270 the story just totally did just completely dipped for me. Alice meets characters in here who talk up the suspense and who build the tension of the story and then by the time you get to the end that tension has just totally died and I think the, the book really dropped the ball for the last like 15 pages. It was probably the most anticlimactic thing I think I've read in a long time and I think even one of the major characters in here comes up after that underwhelming scene and is like is that it? And I'm thinking I'm right there with you buddy I can't believe I cannot believe that is it. If you want to read this but haven't read Alice in Wonderland or are not familiar with Alice in Wonderland that's perfectly fine. This book doesn't take it for granted that everybody has read Alice in Wonderland before but I will say the characters from Alice in Wonderland in this book they kind of have the same uh, characteristics and mannerisms that the characters in the original story had so that was really cool to to read about but what really took me by surprise was how dark this was the, the back of the book actually warns you about how dark this book is but I just I wasn't prepared for it it, it, I, it definitely goes beyond it went beyond my expectations about how how grim and how dark it is I mean Christina Henry is definitely not afraid to go there and I mean the journey that Alice takes to just to uncover what happened 10 years ago is not is not a happy a happy picture this book definitely says a lot about how we treat women in our society and it even comments on on class issues which I wasn't too much expecting one thing that I really appreciated about this book is how matter of fact the writing was because this is a fantasy novel and in the beginning it's really subtle it's more it feel almost feels more like magical realism and, and dark whimsy and then as the book progresses there are more instances of magic and more occurrences where you know magic is more blatant and just out there and so that was really really awesome to read about I will say Alice was a totally flat character this Alice in here completely reminded me of a dark adult version of of the child Alice that appears in Alice in Wonderland. That I think that might actually turn some people off how flat her character is because you're reading this and by the time you finish it you realize that there wasn't a whole lot of character depth, a whole lot of character development for Alice. But at the same time the plot is so fast and so there's just so there's so much happening in the plot and it's just leading it's one it's honestly boom 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 one thing leading to another and to another that you really kind of put it in the back of your mind how much of almost a wallflower Alice becomes. Like going through this book you were kind of just like a fly on Alice's shoulder as she's moving through this dark world. It, it's told in third person but Alice becomes such a wallflower that you are depending on the other characters and 
the plot of the story to just incite more action because Alice doesn't really do too much of anything in this. The reason why I knocked off two stars, one I said for for the ending and how underwhelming it was because we we had this whole journey in front of us this and it was amazing to to read about and to go along with this and then I feel like when you get to page around page 270 that ending didn't match the journey that we had had been on and it didn't it didn't live up to the things that Alice had been through for the first um, 200 or so pages. Um, and another thing that really bothered me is that the fact that there is a second book and potentially a third book. I mean, I'm not the writer, obviously. Who am I to say what needs to be a second or third book? But just from what we've read in this book, it, it definitely ends in a way that you know there is going to be a second one, that there has to be a second one because there are still questions that need to be answered. But at the same time, those questions that we were still left with at the end of this book I don't feel I don't think they are large enough where they need to take up another 300 pages. I feel like the issues that happened that still need to be resolved could have been resolved in this book had it been about 70 pages longer. This worked really well as a standalone. I'm not too jazzed about the fact that there are more books in this series. In the end, I ended up giving it a three and a half out of five stars. Despite the, the underwhelming sentiments that I had toward the, um, the end of this book, I actually highly recommend this. If you all are a fan of dark fantasy or the, the original story of Alice in Wonderland, then this book is definitely for you. But like I said in the beginning, be warned because this book is really dark and does come with a lot of trigger warnings and it's just all around not safe for work so just be prepared for that if you do choose to read this but overall I really uh, really love this book and I am curious to pick up the second one even though I'm not crazy that there is one I will still be reading it this year that's it guys that's all I have for you uh, this morning I hope you guys are having a great day thank you guys so much for watching this video if you liked it go ahead and give it a thumbs up and I will see you all in the next one but until then stay cozy take care guys